Hey, how's it going and welcome back and welcome back to the unique items uh, playlist. Uh, this is where I show you all the unique items I come across. I do it very quickly, just showing you location and I'll leave a link to the full walkthrough of that location or quest so you can see exactly how to get these items and finish the quest or avoid it if you don't want any spoilers. So in this video we're going after two items and it's the Blades Armour and Dragon's Bane. Now you can only get these, well two ways you can get these, uh, one is actually getting one of your followers to join the Blades and then you can pickpocket them or you come to Skyhaven Temple and you can only do that as part of Alduin's Wall questline. Skyhaven Temple is a landmark located in the Reach. Uh, the ancient temple is located east of Markarth atop of a mountain and it can only be reached by going through Karthspire Cave. Now right next to uh, Karthspire Cave is Karthspire Camp uh, and this is nestled deep within the Karth River Valley and overlooked by Red Eagle Throne on the Sundered Towers. Now the camp is a staging area for local Forsworn and this is a tough camp and I'd always recommend, and you see if you look at the, the walkthrough, I'd always recommend taking all the Force One out in that cave and i show you how you do it in the walkthrough. So once you've gone through all the traps and puzzles, you just head into this room here, you literally can't miss it. You've got a nice little skill book, one-handed, and there's Dragonbane. Take that, and if you go to your chest on your left, you've got your full set of blaze armour. Okay, job done. So let's head on outside and see what we've got. Okay, we'll start with the Blaze armor. Um, I think one of the best looking armor sets in the game. Uh, though the armor rating for all the pieces are highly incongruous with each other when compared with other craftable armor sets. Uh, for example, the chest piece is slightly higher than ebony armor. Uh, the boots, gauntlets, helmets, and shields are equivalent to dwarven armor. Okay, now all pieces can be upgraded with the steel ingots at a workbench, uh, however you don't benefit from any smithing perks. Uh, this means that the armour can't be improved past flawless quality without boosting the smithing skill over 100. And obviously you can do this using enchanted items and or blacksmith's potions to fortify smithing. But, as I said before, I think this is a beautiful piece of armour. Not any good for me because I always use light armour, but for those of you into heavy armour, Fantastic. Okay, let's take a look at Dragon's Bane. And it strongly resembles an Arkaviri katana, the sword that the blades used during the Third Era. Dragon Bane's unique enchantment cause a level amount of extra damage to dragons and shock damage to others. However, this is not the same as other shock damage enchantments, since it doesn't do any damage to Magicka. This weapon cannot be disenchanted to learn its effects. Dragon Boy Bane also has a unique visual effect where sparks of electricity fizz along the length of the blade. Dragon Bane can be upgraded with a Quicksilver Ingot and the Arcane Blacksmith perk at a grindstone and also benefits from the Steel Smithing perk, which doubles the improvement. Now the damage weight and value as well as the magnitude of the enchantment are based on the Dragonborn's level the first time Skyhaven Temple is entered, so that's worth bearing in mind. And if you entered um, Skyhaven Temple at uh, level 46 plus, as I have, you get a base damage of 14 uh, with 40 points of extra damage to dragons and 10 points of shock damage to others. Um, the level 46 version has the same damage rating as a Daedric Sword, but has a lighter weight. The damage against dragon is the only part of the enchantment that levels with the dragon pawn. The shock damage doesn't. Now, for example, if you came in at 1 to 18, you'd have a base level of 10, 20 points of damage to dragons, uh, 1926, base damage of 11, 25 points to dragons, 27 to 35, base level 12, 30 points of extra damage to dragons, 36 to 45, 35 points of damage to dragons with a base damage of 13 and as I said 46 gives you base damage of 14 and 40 points for extra damage. Wow that's a whole load of facts and figures whatever the case may be whatever level you go into you've got probably one of the best looking armor sets and a fantastic looking sword and very effective sword. So who cares job's done. I hope you enjoyed this video if you did please leave a like leave a comment and please do subscribe 
If you'd like to see more videos like this, then push the bell next to the subscribe button after you subscribe, obviously. Later.